And now we're looking at evening ritual, which is a, looks like a typical evening at our house. <laughs> yeah, this was the centerpiece for the exhibit of interior drawings that I did back in the uh, late 80s. Um, and uh, for me, it would sort of represented the artist's existence, you know, kind of almost empty refrigerator, um, you know, the frozen spaghetti on the counter. And um, But again, it has some of the same ideas as threshold, the, the open doors, and there's sort of a mystery as to what's going on. You know, why, why is the door to the outside open? Why, why is the refrigerator door left open? Um there's no real explanation to any of it, but it kind of engages the viewer and gets you pulled into the, the narrative. And there's a lot of play going on between shapes. Um, just one example, uh, if you look on the left on the windowsill, the shape of the, the brush on the, on the windowsill is picked up by the shape of the clock with the cord hanging down from it. And on, on the right, it's, picked, it's mirrored by the shape of the dog dish with the shadow line coming up to it. Oh, okay. So there are a lot of, lot of little things that are kind of hidden in there that move your eye through the painting, um, mm. but hopefully you know, are sort of buried enough that it's not so obvious that it's going on. Or you have the angular toward the bottom of the of the separation versus the top. Right, right. And then also, even one thing I noticed, that the floor pattern, on the tile in the kitchen floor, um, actually mirrored the shape of the egg carton in the inside. And that was sort of an accidental discovery that I hadn't even, hadn't even counted on. Sometimes I think you do things subconsciously without knowing it, you know. Mm -hmm. 